Welcome to Beauty Detective guys. For those that are new to the channel, we test out various products and share with you our average user's point of view, which hopefully helps you make a more educated purchase. Now in today's video, I'll do a full review of the Puro Pro Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. I'll go over its different features, what makes them stand out, what limitations they have, and ultimately if they're worth buying. As a full disclaimer, the guys at Sound Lab send the headphones for free, but as always, I'll be completely transparent about my experience and let you know how I really feel about this product. Now to start things off, the headphones come in a nice wooden box which adds to the premium feel and inside the box there is a hard carrying case in which you'll find the headphones themselves. At first glance, the design of the Puro Pro headphones is quite simple and minimal. There is a discreet Puro logo on top of the headband and the only color available is the black you see here. Additionally, the materials used are almost entirely made of plastic but I was happy to see that the headband is reinforced with metal making it more resistant, flexible and less likely to break. Now once on your head, these over-ear style headphones feel light and the side pressure will not cause any discomfort. In fact, the protein leather ear cushions are soft and comfortable around your ears and the material itself seems to be durable enough for day-to-day -day use. On the subject of comfort, I do have a slight complaint regarding the minimal padding of the headband which creates some discomfort after about 3 hours but I was happy to see that they have various possible adjustments to better fit your head size and shape. Once powered on, the Puro Pros use Bluetooth 5.0 to connect to your device, which gives you about 30 to 40 feet of range if there are no obstructions. When connected, the 40 mm dynamic drivers provide deep bass with clear mids and highs, and I noticed almost no distortion at peak volume. The fact that the Puro Pros are volume limited definitely helps against distortion, but particularly helps against permanent hearing damage from listening to music at higher than recommended volume. In fact, the World Health Organization recommends 85 decibels as being the maximum safe sound and at this level you'll be able to safely enjoy your music for about 8 hours. Now even though the headphones are limited to 85 decibels, you can go as high as 95 decibels by holding both volume up and down at the same time, but at this volume it's only considered safe for about 50 minutes a day. I personally found that 85 decibel was loud enough while testing and the active noise cancelling helps a lot with cutting outside noise giving you a more immersive experience. Here I was actually impressed by the ANC performance which has two levels accessible from the ANC button. At level 1 you get a deeper 32 decibels noise reduction and level 2 only reduces outside noise by 15 decibels allowing you to be more aware of your surroundings. Now with the active noise cancelling feature on, you'll get about 25 to 28 hours of playtime and with ANC off you can extend that to an impressive 32 hours. When the battery runs out you can either use the included 3.5mm audio cable to keep listening to your music or recharge your headphones which takes about 2 hours. If you decide to use the 3.5mm audio cable it's worth noting that the volume will still be limited and that there are no audio controls on the cable itself. In fact all the controls are on the right ear cup and I found them to be easily accessible and got used to their location quite fast. With that said, I personally enjoyed the Pro Pro's headphones, the audio quality is impressive, the active noise cancelling performance is good and you'll particularly enjoy knowing that you're not harming your hearing. So with a 5 star rating on Amazon and a $200 price tag, I would definitely recommend the Pro Pro's headphones. Now as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more and we'll see you next Friday. Until then, Review Detective, out.